All right, we're on Lee Chess. Um, so we know that this is going to be serious. And then... Free Knight. And then... Chess is very much a game of and that... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Next! Okay, Chili, give me that game. Send me that game. So... We out here. It's time for another Drew review. If I had a stinger, I would show you the Drew review. We have a theme song that I'm going to put in the stinger um, eventually, but it's time for Drew review. It's the segment where I review your games and I don't give you like masterful insight into your chess games like you would expect, but at least try and make you laugh. Like I want to make you guys laugh and enjoy the game of chess. So check out this game. Then I have another if you don't mind. Yeah, let's do it. All the content. We farm content. All right, we're on Lee Chess. Um, so we know that this is going to be serious. So the real reels play on Lee chess now speaking as a chess.com player but um i always make the analogy that like i think gotham has made this analogy like comparing himself to daniel nerdinsky um he's like or i can't remember if it was nerdinsky or rosen but he's like yeah when you go and watch a daniel nerdinsky video and like you're like Goth, or you're like Daniel. I have a chess lesson next week. What should I do? And the Daniel's gonna be like, "Well, you should prepare this. You should do this, that, and the other." And then I, Levy, talking about himself. It's like you come in, and you're like, "God, if I have a chess lesson, it's like I'm gonna tell you that like you don't need chess lessons. You just need to learn from me and like go play in the park and like that sort of thing." So Chess.com is very much like the the Daniel Naraditsky, like the very calm, like here's what you should do, this sort of thing. And then Stockfish is kind of just like a rabid dong in the background that's just like barking. Stockfish is the biggest cyber bully in the world. Hashtag stop stockfish bullying 2023 that's gonna be a new hashtag but anyway but yeah so stockfish is just like the rabid dog that's like yelling in the back it's like barking 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 like bark 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 bark, bark. not in accuracy bark 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 blunder bark 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 um but then like lee chess is like very much like going to the park and like getting your ass whooped at chess but like that's how maurice ashley learned how to be a good chess player and now he's like one of the first, he was the first African American GM ever. So like, sometimes you just gotta go to the park and get your ass kicked to get good at chess. So that is a clip out of context. Answer drew out of context. Clip that one. Sheesh. Okay. Anyway, so Lee Chess is very much like going to the park and getting your ass kicked, but you're actually gonna like learn a lot about chess compared to like going to a uh, a lesson. Not saying that you shouldn't get lessons. You should totally do that because chess lessons are amazing. And if you are looking for chess lessons, I'm gonna plug my coach, who is also the game that we are watching right now. Our good friend Th Chili. He's an amazing chess coach. He has prepared me and helped me immensely with my chess game and has got me into tournament shape. And so, if you are looking for lessons, he has very competitive rates and he's ready to work with you on it if you need to like work and get some assistance. So that's totally an option. So check him out over on LeeChessChess.com. Get in contact. He's the dude. He's the goat. All right. So you are playing white. All right. So we are seeing it from your perspective. D4 degeneracy, Catalan clan supremacy. Okay. We're doing the Catalan. We've got, I don't know what this is. This isn't the Philidor. Is this the, is this the Petrov? No, I don't know. Two pot. Chili can tell me because Chili knows all his memory. I don't need to like sign up for chess base or an opening database because I just have Chili. Chili knows all the openings. Um, Cool. Queen Gambit accepted. Uh, that's a good pin. Early queen attack. We'd love to see it. You're going to pick up that pawn anyway. So there's... Um, I was talking to a guy at club that I hang out with. Um, or I've been chilling with at club. That's where we hang out. Um, we... Um, he plays the Catalan. And he's like, yeah, I, there's like different lines. He was talking about like lines between like Queen Gambit accepted versus defined and how you like modify the Catalan for that. Um, so there's a lot of theory to that. I don't know any of it because I'm a 900 and I don't play the Catalan. But all that's to say, I can identify that this is the Queen's Gambit accepted. <laughs> section of the Catalan. So there's a whole branch of theory that comes around the Queen's Gambit accepted into the Catalan. Um... So here we go. Okay. Bishy out. Knight captures. Very good. Um, this pawn is still just hanging out. What happens? He takes it. Let's go. Open Catalan now. Okay. Queen's Gambit decline. Is this a Queen's Gambit decline? He takes the pawn, doesn't he? Is he? Uh... Yeah, I mean, isn't that accepted? I don't know. Just 900 things. We're here. He takes the pawn, pushes 
a or h6 so sticking to those habits our good friend over on black has been watching his chess bra videos making sure that he always pumps that uh h6 pawn or the ace a3 pawn depending on where you castle castle's short side we love to see it pawns are coming out got a battery got a lot of battery got a battery uh today i learned that's a global email that i definitely won't abuse so oh uh sub surprise good stuff yeah, I'm just now seeing it today. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Um, so I hope that's like a good thing and you're not just like, it's not like forehead or something like that where it's like streamers being stupid. Um, not that forehead means streamers being stupid, but uh-huh. Here we go. Pump that queen back. <laughs> Benny. Benny Q. Our good friend Benny Q here. So to use the analogy of the bishop that like runs 5Ks, my man's like ran his 5K and then like straight into a brick wall. I mean, you have this threat. Ooh, this is actually a good tactic. I'm going to forget I said anything because this is a tactic. This pushes, this opens up this file. So the queen has to respond to this and then you drop a rook. That's actually pretty smart. But generally, if you are like anywhere near my elo rating, um, don't pump your bishop back here. You want your bishop to be open and be able to run 5k. Bishops want to run as long as they possibly can because they're crazy runners like that. But Bishop a6, kek w, um, you know it. But the mad lad, this is why you don't play bishop a6, kek w, because you can just simply push this, and now this pawn isn't moving, this pawn isn't moving. This bishop hasn't just run into a brick wall, but the brick wall is now reinforced by another brick wall. So try as he may, this bishop is going to try and push through this brick wall at least seven more times. I can only draw two arrows, but he's going to continue to try and push, but it's not budging. This is stuck. He has to run all the way back to the church, reroute, and oh, by the way, there's another brick wall over here. And then if he pushes the... Chili. Boss. Boss. Please tell me you did not push E5 at some point during this game. Hold on. He runs back. That works too. Okay. <laughs> e2 or knight e5. Um, so now this isn't moving. This bishop is stuck between like the church and like the restaurant around the block. This is like just up the block. This isn't like a full workout. And this is just like barely even a 5k. This bishop is like roped off. He's not going anywhere, my guy. Um Rook comes out, trying to demolish or open up that a little bit. But you can just, like, he takes, takes, you're down a rook, and you still haven't moved the pawn. So, oh, you think the bishop is dead? I have a surprise for you. Bishop in jail, jail. He, he, he. Okay. What you gonna do, boss? Gonna set up a pin? That's cool. All right. What you gonna do, boss? I'll just rotate it out. Yeah, back it up. So now... <laughs> so now... Now... The bishop has, like, another square that he can work with, but the rook's back in jail, too. This is just straight-up bar. Like, this is three hots and a cot, just straight-up jail right here. This bishop is back here. This knight is back here. You can also push this and then drop this and win a rook trade. You're ahead on material, I believe. Um, Actually, let's do some mirroring. So, one, two, this is plus nine. These wash, these wash, these wash. Sorry, these wash, these wash. Is he plus? Th it doesn't have. No t I'm putting myself on the spot saying that you're ahead on material. And then I, when I go to actually count the material, I don't <laughs> know what the count is. But point is, like, you, you, a rook trade here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, at least in my opinion. Um, even material. Okay. Yeah. So I wouldn't trade down in this position. But anyway, so <laughs> the, the rook's back in jail. We got the rook, the bishop. The queen is basically like the warden, just like keeping an eye on anything. She can break it out if she wants to. Um, she's got like visitation rights and whatnot, so she can like get out when she needs to. But like these two are just in jail. Three hots and a cot. This is straight up jail right here. The rook, the rook is joining the bishop. They're cellmates. All right. Good tactics here. Omega tactics incoming. Potentially, no, this isn't an Omega tactic because takes, 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 takes. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, there is an Omega tactic here. So push this. This threatens. Bishop takes force. Knight takes. Knight takes. Here. Um, 
That could be. I don't know if that's the sequence that you went, but I would calculate that out. I think that looks instinctively that looks good to me. But again, 900 ELO. I don't calculate these things very well. Um, JK. Um, queen attack. Queen reinforces. I want to do the dun 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 dun. <laughs> Knights for rooks. There's probably a sacrifice in there. It's strategic. It's all planned. Because remember, it's not a blunder if a grandmaster plays it. A grandmaster could play something like queen to a4, play the Botez gambit, and everybody will be like, oh, that's brilliant. And then they chess scholars will sit there for hours and try and find a justification as to why that's a blunder. If I play a Botez gambit, if I play queen a4 and I get captured, then... Anarchy Chess like roast me for the next seven weeks. So remember, th this is not a blunder. We are at two thousand Elo Chess. Like we we, there's more forethought to it than that. We just casually go behind one piece of material, and then we're gonna set up a pin. That's exactly what I would play. You just set up a pin on your queen. Um, so we love to see it. So now you're behind one. I'm gonna go pick up your. Your bishop, not going to pick up the bishop for free. No, that's all good. I'm going to continue to threaten the queen. That's not a free bishop, by the way. This is protected. I know that. <clears throat> I'm not that deaf. He's trying to break free. You already know. But the queen, our warden is coming in. So like this, our warden, this is like the sheriff. The sheriff's in town. The warden's showing up. It's like, hey, what are y'all doing in there? Can't be just like moseying around like that. <clears throat> this is jail after all. Okay. Good coordination. We love to see it. Coordinated, coordinated, setting those snares. And then... Free night, and then chess is very much a game of and that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me finish my first thought. So, I was a red-blooded American high school boy one time, and if there's one thing that us red-blooded American high school boys do every once in a while when we have a lady in our life, is uh. You send some spicy texts. So, um, chat, I'm going to... This This is just you and me. This is me bearing my soul to you. Every once in a while, you send a spicy text because you're a high schooler and you're, uh, you're... You got the hormones running. Let's just put it out there. You got the hormones running. So you send a spicy text or two. We've all, send, we've all been there. Sometimes... Some people even spend, spi send spicy texts like right now. And you're more than welcome to send spicy texts because that's a thing that people do. And so... You send a spicy text, or maybe your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your partner sends you a spicy text, and you're just going. Like, this is you're feeling good. Everything's good. Life is good. We're vibing. You know, we're feeling each other. Metaphorically speaking, not literally. We're feeling each other. We're having a good time. And so you're, you got it. You're going along. And then there's always that and then. So it's like, I'm going to do all these things. And then you're like, and then, and then, and then. And then you're like, and then they have to think up on the spot. And then it gets kind of awkward because like one person is usually the one that's like detailing all the spicy stuff. Um, we're talking about making curry, by the way. Okay. We're, you know, making spicy and stuff. And den, and den, exactly. And den, let's get some and dens in the chat. Um, so again, so when I'm talking about making spicy, we're, we're talking about making curry. We're like spicy food. We're talking about making spicy stuff. We're sending spicy texts because we're sharing recipes for curry and everything like that. By the way, I just posted my curry recipe on Instagram. You should follow me. Hashtag. Um, <laughs> exclamation point socials in the chat to follow my instagram so yeah you're sitting there you're talking about curry recipes you know you got your spicy thing going on and you're just like and then and they're like and then i added some cardamom and they're like whoa and then and then you're like and then some paprika and they're like oh and then and then you're like and then some coconut milk and you're just like oh and then and then and then chess is very much like this chess is like those spicy texts that you are sending to your your gf or your bf when you're sharing curry recipes so this is very much an and then moment so and then and then and then so here and then push and then not queen takes um i like here this forces this this once takes and then there um that's the line but for some reason the mans took the knight i wonder why we'll probably find it out for reasons that are evident shortly um queen takes is forced um 
chili what's the th <laughs> warm spices you know does curry even exist uh yeah curry exists i just made a big pot of curry last night when you does curry even exist um don't get me talking about the size of my curry i'm gonna stop that joke right there actually we're not gonna talk about the sizes of each other's curry pots in this chat um queen takes f7 the threat um queen takes f7 the threat okay so here he wants to so queen takes f7 let's say he doesn't take so queen takes f7 then you have this back and then oh and then it's mate yeah it's mating too okay that, i see it now bear with me queen takes take take and then you pick up the rook so or the bishop so we had the same idea yeah and just start collecting and then he resigns already quite a spicy game we love to see it we've been we've been on an emotional roller coaster here with our good friend th chili we had we we're sharing curry recipes we we saw the birth of the end den meme that's going to be a bit here from now on you guys just watch it out so free night and den 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 and then and then he resigns and we win the game um so well played chili much appreciated i hope that you get a big old pot of spicy curry for your performance in this game for this game i will reward you one big pot of spicy curry that is how that this game made me feel